okay y'all here we are another one for youtube here um for the uh, analysis making sure y'all getting better tournament guidebook by vishnu warrior dropping next year this one today we're talking about the smooth criminal now you know that from michael jackson shout out to mike jack right now here in chess there's a thing called the smooth smooth criminal aaron nimsevich talked about this before when he said you know a pass pawn is like a basically a smooth criminal you have to keep it under lock and key now actually i pulled up an article from chess.com let me pull that up for you all right here boom the smooth criminal here it is let's read quickly the first part of it one of the most famous quotes of aaron nimsevich is a pass pawn is a criminal which should be kept under lock and key mild measures such as police surveillance are not sufficient right that's what we're talking about today now, let's actually read the rest of it. What did he mean? We're going to investigate cases where we're actually going to look at a game today um, where a pass pawn appears to be stopped. Um, police surveillance, if we use an image of its analogy, since a move forward would lead to her immediate liquidation. Yet in many cases, the little soldier, soldier does exactly that. There are many reasons for such a suicide in today, and we'll discuss the particular case where a pawn gets sacrificed to clear her square for a night. Right. OK, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get back to it, y'all. So we're talking about um we're talking about that right now. Okay. Copyright. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. Shut up. All right, but and that's clincher. Okay. So William Steinitz, Kurt von Bardelebin. However you say his last name, right? But okay. Here we go. Uh first move here is this was back in actually let me get the year. Let me get the year one time. The year is eighteen ninety five, back in the day, 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 day. Back in the day, 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 day. Okay, so here we go. E4, E5. But some of this stuff was just crazy, right? Chess played back in 1895. You still see in your own games today. 1895. E4, E5. Knight of 3, Knight C6. Bishop C4, Bishop C5. Regular stuff you see here. Okay, chat, we're going to be quick here. Is white to move. What do you do in this position? White to move. Let's sit my brain fuel. Command brain in the chat. Pinky up. Oh, that's all. That's a honey. On it. Okay, castles natural. C3. Red hot mama says C3. Thanks for the follow, King Me Midas. Italian, okay. Yep, yeah, something like it. Joko. Evans, okay. He like Evans with the B4 for the score. I see you. I see you. I see you. But Red Hat Mama says C3. Dr. Giuliano says C3. Anyone else? Since 1893, I say they played D4. D4 actually is a move. Knight to C3 and castle. These are all the moves you would usually make. Sack on F7. I'm going to hit you with one of these. Garbage. One more time. Garbage. For the people in the back. Garbage. Oh, my goodness. That is disgusting. Sack in on F7, and uh, you about to get sent to heaven. Okay? That's not a move, my guy. Bishop takes F7 is not a move. So, okay. Bishop C5, and the move actually is C3. C3 is the usual stuff that you'll see even today. I used to play this actually as a Scotch Gambit player. I love playing. I used to love playing this until there's a, a force line. It's a draw. In fact, if you check YouTube, check the Scotch Gambit playlist, you'll be able to actually link it for you guys too. Scotch Gambit playlist. Fan of Master Clinger, send me a message. Say Scotch Gambit playlist. I'll link it for everyone. But Scotch Gambit playlist where C3 is not the move that I prefer anymore. Because if I'm playing a, a higher rated player, then I might go C3. But if I'm playing a lower rated player, I want to play for a win. So I will play something else because there are forced draw lines that happen with C3. Now, after C3, knight to F6. After knight F6, chat, it's on you. It's on you. What do you do? Chat, what do you do? What do you do, chat? Who main, main line says Phantom Clinger? All right, C3, knight F6. Okay, Curious Chimpanzee says D4. Great High Mama says D4 for the score. Do or castle? I think that I think you meant D four or castle. Soxy, thanks for the follow. D three, Queen C two, D four. D four, correct. The D four is the unanimous move here that you see most of the time. Sack your bishop. Yeah. Oh, this for you. Let me let me just send you one of these. Welcome to the stream too. Garbage. Yeah. Garbage. One more time for the people in the back. Garbage. That's for you. So uh, bishop takes F seven, and again you're getting sent to heaven. It's not a move, big fella. So after knight F six. There's d4, okay? d4 for the score, absolutely. So d4, e takes d4. c takes d4, bishop b4 check. Bishop b4 check happens, what do you do next, chat? 
What do you do next? Now I'm gonna tell you what I used to do. I used to play bishop d2 here, and this is a forced draw line that is really annoying, that I hate to face, in fact, especially against the lower rated players. But of course, this was something different, 1895. William Steinitz, what do you play in this position? A little bit different. A little bit different. A little bit different. Queen d2. Oh, wow, Phantom Master Cleanser. Yeah, I'm not even going to push the button for you, my guy. Okay, kc3. If you mean knight, it is within. K is for king. Heat Miser with 38 months. Wow. Sheesh. Dang. Dang. Y'all think I've been streaming 38 months. Maybe 39? Something like that. Sheesh. Heat Miser with 38 months. My guy, bro. My guy, thanks for that. 92, 92, 92, King F1. He'll play 92. Just castle to here, right? Knight D2, Knight C3. In fact, here's what William Steinis did. You know, it's first world champ. He played this move right here. Check it out. Check it out one time, one time, one time. Knight to C3. Beautiful. Now he is sacking a pawn. He is sacking a pawn. And many times, you know, William Steinitz, like they like, yo, it's Steinitz. I'm not really trying to take this pawn. I'm not trying to go into some aggressive stuff with Steinitz. I, I, I totally get what Black was doing here. They didn't take on E4, which is nowadays, especially with the engine, it is very grabbable. But you do need, still need to be accurate. Knight C3 was the move, though. Knight C3 after Knight C3, there was D5, which now you're into the Joko piano, or what Hikaru says, right? We let, we know it now as the Gucci piano. I like it, the Gucci piano, right? It's kind of funny. But it is the Joko piano, or Joko pian, pianissimo, something like that. Whatever, you know, yeah. Same thing, okay? Joko piano, right? So we got the Joko piano here after e takes d5, knight takes d5. This is 100% a super draw line. If you play, um, I think it's a uh, queen b3 or queen a4, one of these. I think it's like some some draw line. I think it's this, this, and then this, and then knight a5, and then check, and you go back and forth, something like this. There, there's a, a lot of draw lines here, to say the least. You can you can find many draws that happen here. In the Joko piano here. But after Knight takes d5, he said, I don't want to draw nothing. We ain't drawing nothing. I'm not an artist. I don't like painting. I don't take art school. No classes. We ain't drawing nothing. White to move, chat. What do you do in this position? What do you do in this position? White to move. Hikaru says that. Now, yeah, yeah, I've heard Hikaru many times call it Gucci piano. It's kind of funny. Yeah, Nissimo. Is a superlative of the piano. Calm. Nice. Love me the piano of my Gucci. Yeah. Castles. 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 Knight takes d5, bro. All right. Yeah, Phantom Master Clean is just straight garbage today. That's okay, though. In fact, it is castles. We get out of the way. Castles. Okay. Castles. Totally a move. Black was like, look, again, I'm not trying to go down none of your tricks. I'm not a fan of your tricks, big fella. Not a fan. So Bishop E6 with a deadly threat of Knight takes C3 and GG, right? I mean, it's kind of deadly because I might win some material here, especially with F1, and your queen's going to be hit. So, you know, what do you do about this? What do you actually do about this right now? It's white to move. Let's see what we got in the chat here. That's a row after Knight D5, yeah. Castle, bishop takes d5. We got knight takes d5 from Curious Chimpanzee. Bishop to d3 from Red Hot Mama. I'm a fan of that. Like that. Thanks for the follow, TG. W, uh, v, triple V. Thanks for the follow. Rook g5. Rook g5. Rook to g5. Garbage. Rook g5. Okay. All right. All right now, PG with BG5, Bishop G5. Okay, kick the bishop on a3. You could play a3. In fact, Bishop G5 is correct. Very nice, very nice move. Aggressive. This is definitely Steinitz's style. Bishop G5, and then there was Bishop to e7. Okay, after Bishop e7, let's fast forward a little bit. There was Bishop takes d5. Let's get to the best part of the game. Bishop takes d5. We had a massive trade. 
night takes. And one thing you want to know here a lot of times is, you know, I always tell students that when you castle is game time. So I'm castled, right? Your king's still in the center of the board in the middle of civilization looking ridiculous. So I'm trying to trade, put a rook on a file with a smile and go crazy here. Like rookie one and you're done. All kind of stuff here. So after bishop g5, bishop e7. Okay, cool. We trade. Trade some more. Trade one more time. See what he do. Knight takes c7. And then again, rookie one. And he's almost done. Very nice. So after rookie one. All right, fine gold tripping here, right? Fine gold is not a fan. Cringes every time you see it. F6, bro, are you serious? Garbage. Wow. Wow. Garbage. Garbage. Disgusting. Garbage. F6? But of course your king is in the center of the board and you can't castle. So you do have to realize where black was in this position. Fango just woke up in a cold sweat. You know, imagine him sleep. <gasps> Somebody played F6. Somebody played F6. Yep. F6, right? F6 is gross. Absolutely disgusting. Queenie 2? Okay, so it's on you, chat. What do you do? I see Queenie 2 from Snare. Set. Queenie 2. He probably castled long. Okay. I mean, shoot, E7 hanging though, big fella. E7 is hanging. You know what I mean? Hanging. Don't do it to yourself. Queen A4. Okay. We got Queen A4 check. What else we got? I read about Fisher in 1972 World Championship playing F6. Yeah, it depends. You know, it's Fisher. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Exceptions to the rule. Rook C1. We said not now. Okay. Queen C2. Okay, here's the move. In fact, somebody already said it here. It's queen to e2. Very nice. Queen e2. After queen e2, black defends. Queen d7. You know? All right, Rambe, I ain't telling you nothing. If you know it, then you know it. Right? Or you don't. I ain't about to tell you. We learned it today. What up? What to do, Canty Crew? What's up, Von Budukas? And then rook a to c1. Okay? Rook a to c1. We're pleasuring the C file, especially if he wants to castle, but he still can't. And then C6. Now, right here, we talked about the smooth criminal, right? The smooth criminal, of course, was the pawn that we have to keep under lock and key, like Aaron Nimzovich said. Usually, that's from my system. Um, Phantom Master Klendrick, actually send me a message. Say my system. I'm going to link that, link that book into the description for you guys so you can grab that. The newer ones and stuff, too. But after C6, right what do you do in this position it's white to move so what he did right black flipped the board here keeping this pawn under lock and key the smooth criminal which is the past pawn here you need to keep it under lock and key at all times right so black's doing a good job oh you know hey keep it under hey i'm a, i swear i promise you i'm gonna take it if you push this pawn right so of course you can't push the pawn right well it's white to move what do you do in this position What do you do in this position? Why not rook c1 or not rook d1? Yeah, rook d1. I mean, rook c1 could rook d1 was probably a move as well, but rook to c1 was just more of like I guess pressuring the c file. But and you can also maybe rook lift this way. I think they're virtually the same kind of move though. Yeah, sure. Call me and say push it. Push the pawn. You push the pawn. We got rook c3 from snare set. Queen e6 from king Midas. Anything else, chat? Anything else? Push the pawn from Chahir. So now push the B pawn from Tyrus. Okay, more a little bit of minority attack, which we'll cover that in another in another lesson. Is a pinor minority wow minority attack minority attack here right? Uh, the small ones or the minority versus the majority. B four. I got it. Rook C three. Okay, Knight H four. All right, Knight E five. Yeah, he garbage. Man. That's country. I don't know why I even read that. F3, knight h4, knight h4, knight e5. Yeah, gross. Rook c3. Okay. All right, here it is. Here it is. Y'all ready, chap? You ready? Now, we're supposed to keep this pass pawn under lock and key the entire time. Black's like, I'm doing a good job of that. And then William Steinitz says, oh, yeah, you, oh, you, okay, I see you. I see you. Okay, c6. C6. What a move. That's nice right there. But you are. Garbage. You're garbage. garbage. We don't care garbage. about none of that. Garbage. Watch this one. He played this move right here. The man played D5. Oh. 
Wow. Bruh. Oh, wow. He played D5. D5 and we live. Take it if you want to. Take it if you want to. Take it. I dare you. In fact, I mean, you only have one way to take it. Taking with the queen, I mean, that's just blocking with your whole face there, mate, and we great. Knight takes is not a move. And the only way to capture is pawn takes. So C takes D5. But again, like we talked about before, smooth criminal needs to be lock, uh, kept under lock and key. If you were here for the first part when we read the article, and in the article we were talking about that, yes, you have to keep it under a lock and key, and many times you use it to sacrifice. You can also go through our old videos as well in our playlist here, and you can see how, uh, I think this the video is called Sorry Little Buddy, talking about how a rook was needed to be active by sacrificing a pawn. A lot of times sacrificing pawns is just to do more stuff will really help you in your games. So we did sacrifice this pawn on d5 to do what? What is the follow-up, chat? What is the follow-up? He gave, he get why did he give up this pawn? Or what? Why did he do it? He, he definitely had a reason. First world champion, William Steinitz. What's the move? What is the move? Thanks for the follow, Ali Soon. Save me. Thanks for the follow. Knight jumped to d4, then c7. We got queen e6. We got knight d4. We got another knight d4 in there. Fortunate. Anything else, chat? Anything else? Anything else? We got knight d4s. We got a rook c5. Thanks for the follow, young Chupi Red. Rook d1, rook c7. It's in heaven. It's knight d4. This is the point of the sacrifice. What's the best blockader of a of a uh, of a pawn, right? Right. Raise your hand, class. Absolutely, you got it. Correct. It's a knight. Absolutely, knight to d4, blockading the pawn. The king is still in the center of the board. You can't castle, hence to move rook c1, because he already knew he was going to play d5, right? We already knew that. And then casting this way, queen takes e7. So your king in the middle of the board. So he was like, all right, look, I can't connect my rooks. I'm out here looking crazy. Black plays, king f7. All right, chat, it's on you. What's the move? It's on you, chat. Queen e6 now. Okay, queen e6. We got queen e6 on the board, or at least uh, in the chat. So he did. He went king f7 in this position. Trying to consolidate. Put the rook on e8. Feel kind of great, you know. I'm feeling good. I put the, I put the rooks on e8 now. Queen e6 looks good to me. Queen e6. Okay. King Midas with queen e6. Very nice. Kyle. Thanks for the follow. Knight b5. Silent king h1. X back. You ever have a silent move? You got to use the silent emote. We have for you in the chat. Silent king h1. Knight b5. And queen e6s. So I see some knight b5s. I see some queen e6s. Very close, chat. What do you think? Is it one of those? Queen b5. Okay. Queen b5. Queen e6 from cool out ac. Ke6, which I'm assuming that's knight, tg. All right, y'all. Okay. Okay. Looking good, looking good. You know what? Queen e6. Wow. Queen e6. Queen e6. Your garbage, that is not a garbage. move. Oh my goodness. Garbage. Wow. Garbage. What are you doing with your life? Garbage. That is not a move. Queen E6, why on earth garbage. would you play Queen E6? What are you doing? One more time, you're right, Shug, you're right. Garbage. Just for the people that need it. Garbage. And for the people in the back. Garbage. Oh my goodness, it is not a move. After Queen takes, Knight takes, what are you doing? You just gave away the advantage. Literally gave away the entire advantage. Gave everything away. So in fact, the people that said 96 is 100% correct. Knight to e6 is the move. Beautiful move here, right? Look at this. Bruh. There's a knight Bruh. on e6. I have a knight on e6. Bro, what are you doing? I have a knight on e6, bro. Right, so Black says, okay, you know what? Rook ace to c8. We got to get some pieces off the board right now. We got to get some pieces off the board. White to move. What do you do about this? Rook ace to c8 on the board. We trying to get these pieces off. And here's a, a thing to note. All right, let's flip the board. If you're under attack, one thing you should do is, a, is trade the pieces that attack you. Trade the pieces that are attacking you. 
So, chat, okay. Rook, uh, Black's doing exactly that. Rook c8's on the board. What do you do? I see queen h5, queen h5, queen h5. Okay. Queen g4 from snare set. Things sort of follow sentimental. I see three queen h5s and a queen g4. Queen h5 check. Crush and fatal blow. Queen h5. JBH things for the follow. Queen h5, queen h5. Okay. Queen h5. Y'all going crazy out here. Queen h5. Look at that. Boy, queen h5. Okay. Okay. Queen h5. You're garbage. It is not a move. What are you doing? Why would you play queen h5? Not a move. Try again. Try again. I just go king g8, and I'm going to stare at you real hard. I'm going to stare at you real hard right now. Real hard flex. I'm about to stare at you extremely hard and uncomfortably. Absolutely not a move. King g8, I'm out the way. Have a nice day. Right? It is not a move. Not a move. And in fact, the engine gives it equal. Equal. So the move is queen to g4 for the score. There it is. There we go. Defending here knight g5 being a threat oh my goodness queen g4 is disgusting disgusting this is a very very famous game so after queen g4 g6 happens cool we'll fast forward a little bit knight g5 check oh i got him big fella okay okay and then king e8 and he's sitting here like yeah i got you silence your piece is hanging right you probably got to go back to e6 with the knight right white to move white to move chat Probably go back to go back to e6 with the knight. I'm assuming, right? That's what we do. Is that what you're thinking, chat? Knight e6. Right? Maybe move the queen out the way. Maybe trade the rooks first. What do you think, chat? What do you think? King e8. King e8. We have rookie seven. We have knight h7. Rookie seven. Sack the rook. Thanks for the follow. TSG. Knight takes h7. Okay. Knight takes h7. Hmm? Knight f6 if he takes the queen. Knight takes h7. Okay. Honestly, look, you know what? Hey, knight h7 ain't that. It, it's not terrible. It's not garbage. I mean, it, it, garbage? it's not garbage. It's really not. You know, it's not the best. Because after takes, takes. Okay, I see you. I see you out here. Okay, I see you. I see you. Good job. Good job. Okay, you out here doing your thing thing. That's pretty cute. That's cute. You know what I'm saying? That's cute. All right. All right. Get your queen back. Okay, get your little queen back. But that's not it. When you find a good move, look for a better one. That's from Lasker, if you didn't know. Lasker said this. He held the world champion title, what, 27 years? I'm 29. Basically, all my life. That man was world champ at the time. All right, when you find a good move, look for a better one. Here it is. Rook takes e7. Woo! Sheesh! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Rook takes e7. That's gross. So if you take it to queen, I mean, that's, that's kind of mean. It's just immediately Rook takes c8. We great. Give me everything. Everything must go sail. Get it off the board. Have a good day. So that's not it. So he had to take with the king. So he takes, in fact, actually, sorry. King takes, this is another line. If king takes, you actually have queen before check. Let's just show that really quickly. He didn't have to take. And after queen to d6, you have a queen takes b7. You also have rookie one, which both of these win. Both of these win, in fact. Right, and I'll actually show the line. Queen takes b7, right? Let's say uh, king e8, and then you have queen f7, which is a move, and then king d8 and rook e1, or you just go rook e1 now. Rook e1, which is after king d8, knight f7 is mate. And if you go king f8, it's the same thing, queen f7 mate. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. So he didn't take with the king. In fact, he found a very cool move, which was king to f8, x clam. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. King f8. Right, because if you take here, in fact, you know, I want you to find this chat. There's a lot going on right now. There is a lot going on. There's a queen hanging. There's a knight hanging. There's a two rooks hanging. In fact, every piece that White has is hanging. Every single one of their pieces are hanging right now. But it is your move. You got to make a move. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do, chat? White's move here. Every move. Every piece you got is hanging, so be mindful. Very mindful. Okay, knight h7. 
That's all check from here on out. Says Mr. Standard. I take the queen. It's free. Says TG. Knight takes h7. Rook f7. Rook f7. Knight takes h7. Knight h7. Knight e6. Knight e6 again. They like in the knight e6. Queen takes queen. Rook takes c8. Hey, you know what? Shout out to you. If you said queen takes queen, queen takes queen, knight e6. Yo, you 100% garbage. 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 What are you doing? Garbage. Get the man off the board. You cannot take the queen because you're mated on the back rank. Blocking with your whole face. Absolute whole face right here, okay? Oh, wow, right? You can't take either way. And then 96? Oh, okay, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can just play King G8 and stare at you real hard. Your queen hanging. This is hanging. Queen takes E7 is a move. I mean, you can't. You can't hold it all. You can't. And I'm not checked anymore. Rook G7. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. And I just take this. And you're looking crazy. You still made it. Still made it. Beautiful. So here's the move. We backtrack. The move actually is Rook F7. What a move. Rook F7. Beautiful. Because now we have the same thing. If Queen takes, then we take on C8 like we had already. So King goes to G8. He like, oh, okay, I'm just going to not take the rook because you still made it on the back rank. I mean, what a game here because the queen is still hanging, but you take it, you're made it on the back rank. So it's white to move once again. What do you do, Chad? You in trouble if you don't find this move. You are in trouble if you don't find this next move. What is it? What did William Steinis play? Rook takes c8, g7, <laughs> rage quit it, round a, funny, rook c7, in many ways, we got two for rook takes c8, we got two for rook g7, anything else, or are we going to stick with those, we have four, h3, oh my, hey, hold up, hold up, Garbage. Hey, that's just for you. Hold that one. Garbage. For the people in the back. Garbage. Oh my goodness. H3. Don't do that. Don't even. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. This is a family channel. Don't be doing that over here. We got kids watching. Queen E6. Rook F8. Okay. All right. So here it is. In fact, Rook takes C8 does not work. And, and the reason. And the reason. Not that it doesn't work. It's still equal. It's not the best. Rook takes c8 will still be an equal game with the best play and white slightly better. But we don't want this. We don't want this. We want to win, obviously. So William Steinitz played a beautiful move. Here it is right here. Y'all ready for this? Rook g7. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Wow. That's a disgusting move disgusting oh my bro look at this let me bruh. Bruh. are you serious bruh. yo rook g7 wow if you take with the king obviously i take on d7 take the queen for free and it's check i couldn't take it before because it was never checked if you take with the queen then i do rook take c8 same thing we already had for two or three moves now so he says okay you know what that's cute william stein it's okay clap it up big fella that was cool I'm going to sidestep you. I'm going to get out the way. Right? I'm going to get out the way. Hey, chat. It's on you. Hurry up. Fast here. Fast. What you got? What you got? You should have it by now. You should have it by now. Rook H7 from Curious Chimpanzee. Rook G8 from Tyrus. Rook H7s. Rook H7s. I see it everywhere. I see it everywhere. Tyrus, I'm going to send this to you because uh, you're the only one that said Rook G8s. So I'm going to send this to you, bro. Garbage. Yeah. Garbage. One more time. Garbage. Hey, check your mail. You got a... Uh, yes, sir. Rook G8. That is not a move, big fella. Oh, my goodness. King takes G8, and you are not great. You're not feeling good. Yeah, that's a wrap. You got a text message? Garbage. Yes, sir. It's not a move. So, you looking crazy. But everyone else kind of correct. Rook H7. That is right. Rook H7. 
Is Knight F7 a move? A uh, Knight F7 is 100% premium Cambodian face blockage, also with a side of at the same time. Disgusting. Because after King takes G7, you're looking crazy. You're looking crazy. Absolutely disgusting. One more time. Garbage. Okay, let's run it back. So, Rook takes H7. Rick takes H7, and right here, he resigned. He resigned. Game over. He was like, I got tired of this. But let's see why he resigned, right? Because, of course, you can't take with the king obvious defended. Queen takes is Rick takes C8, and you're going to lose everything and probably, well, maybe not the queen. Yeah, maybe not the queen, but you will be losing a lot. You will be losing a lot. A lot. He doesn't resign. Oh, in fact, in this PGN, weirdly enough, it says he resigned. But if, this, is the, this is the end of it. Right, was that which is act, actually after rook takes h7, right? There's this move, king g8. King g8. Let's 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 go forward. Let's go forward here. So for some reason from this PGN it says he resigned, but I do remember that there was a lot more. He let the clock run out and he walked away. Oh yeah. <laughs> he, he says he didn't resign. He let his clock run out and walked away. <laughs> Oh man, he was just hurt. He was just hurt. I understand. All right, so after King G8, here's the finish. He played Rook G7 again. Imagine somebody do this to you, man. This is just hurtful. So he played King H8, Queen H4, King G7. Queen H7, King F8. And now, hopefully, you did your tactics for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you didn't, you need to go do your puzzle rush right now. Now, big fella. So it is white to move. How did you finish this out, chat? It's kind of simple. You only got a few moves you could actually make here. What are you doing? No black loss here. Stein has dem demonstrated the rest after the game. Oh, okay. Thanks, Logan. Thanks for that. Yeah. So what do you do for the rest of it? How do you finish this out? Because this would this is a beautiful, this would have been very beautiful to see if you were able to do this. We got Rook C8, silent A3. Oh, it ain't going to be silent. Oh, it ain't going to be silent if you play A3. Lose the game because I lost my patience. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know, here you go, bro. Garbage. It's for you, man. You can just keep that. You know, it's a gift from me to you. Queen H8 from from Maya Strander. Queen H8. Queen H8, Queen H8. Beautiful. That's it, right? The best move on the board is Queen H8. Just Queen H8 first. Queen H8 check, right? If you do things with check, it's more forcing most, most times. King e7, another check, right? And then he goes king d8 because king f6 is going to be, or king d6 leads to mate immediately. Queen takes f6. You have to block. Let's actually show that. You have to block with the queen and then immediate mate. The rook is covering the escape squares. So king goes to d8. Kings get out the way. Have a nice day. And you think it's mate, but it ain't mate yet. It ain't mate yet. What do you do, chat? And you better get this right. Why to move? Six donkey, thanks for the follow. What are you doing? He disconnected, yeah. He flipped the board and challenged the duel of guns. <laughs> Back then, that probably was a thing, too. But I mean, you know what? Do the shootout. Right? Right now, rookie one after queen h8. Well, let's see. Let's see. Well, rookie one. Okay. <laughs> rookie. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. You are a supreme Garbage. 1,000. Garbage. Oh, my God, bro. I just take the queen. What are you doing? I just take your queen. Now you lost everything you own. You know what? Let me go king f7 so you can't get the knight out. There is no check. I just take it, right? You said after queen h8? Wow. I mean, look at this. Okay, so rookie one check. Rookie one check. So this actually is a thing, but king d6. And this is going to take a lot longer than usual. The rook is now leaving this away. My king is in the middle of the street. But it's going to take a long time for you to actually get me here. And if you are not accurate, eh, you know, you're going to lose, in fact. But this is still winning. I mean, the king is in the middle of the street here. But the the accurate way to do it is queen to g7. Because after here, the king can't go anywhere. And now it's king d8. Yeah, it looks okay. Absolutely, Mustachiolo. But you do want to be accurate, right? If you find a good move, look for a better one. That's, again, from Lasker. Always remember that. Write that down. Before, right? You know, when I find a good move, look for a better one. Rookie one is good. What's better is queen h8. Much better. So after uh, king to d8, you finish out with queen to f8. Queen e8 happens. Two more moves. Two more moves. Chat, who can find it? And you find a mate, look for better. That's right. 
Who can find the next two moves here? Who can find the next two? He's like, what's up? What's up? Forgot. Yeah, my guy would have. You find me looking better. That's right. Knight of seven, queen d6. We got some queen d6s. We got some knight of sevens. Okay, queen d6, king h1, knight of seven, tray queens, kappa. Yeah, yeah, you lucky because I'm, I'm hovering over the garbage button right now. Literally hovering over it, but I saw kappa there, so you're good to go. Bring the rook to e1. It's disgusting. Still hovering over that garbage button, so you know. Knight e6, queen d6. So, in fact, you guys have already said it many times here. It's either knight of seven or queen d6. Both of them work. Knight f7 is quicker, but let's see the queen d6 line. Queen d6, queen d7, knight e6, king here, and queen f8 is mate. And you can't take the rook or the knight, sorry. You can't take the knight due to the pin. Pin and win. So, in fact, the move that actually Stein is like the faster way is knight f7 first. Uh, same way, just uh, horizontally or. Yeah, horizontally, right. Yeah, horizontally. Knight f7 and then king e8. Or king, sorry, king d7, and then queen d6 is mate. And this is what would have happened. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Disgusting, right? This was great by Steinitz. Now, of course, this did not happen. He resigned at rook h7. That mate was pretty, right? I know. Rook takes h7 is where the man resigned. Like, bro, I'm not doing this. You know, they're going to be talking about this in 2021. And this was 1895, right? So he knew. So he got up and walked away. Let his time run out. Understandable, right? But... You know, here this is gross. So King G8, check, 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 and checkmate. Bruh. Oh wow. Yikes. Hit that man with a nasty one. Queen D6 mate. So, you know, this was this was gross. This was absolutely gross. Now, of course, you can always use, and let's go from the beginning once again, for people that have not seen the beginning part, right? You can always even try this yourself. Right. Now it won't always go this way, but this was a Joko piano or Gucci piano here. Takes bishop check. Knight c3 is more of the sack lines. You do sack a pawn. And then after d5, but now knight takes e4 is a move, which we'll cover on another day. But d5 is a main move, which does happen. Takes, takes, castles, bishop e6, bishop g5, bishop e7, trade everything. Remember, trade when you're up, not when you're down. But also, when you castle, it's game time. So the king is in the middle of the board, so we're about to go crazy. He hit him on f7. He played rookie one, and he's done. F6, fine gold out here, tripping. Then queen e2, queen d7, rook a, rook c1. C6, right, smooth criminal. Got to be kept under lock and key, like Aaron Nimzowicz said, talking about the pawn, or pass pawn, that is. Which, in a way, this was a pass pawn, kind of. I mean, kind of a pass pawn, not really, because this can be stopped. But c6, stopping it, keeping it under lock and key. And then he says, okay, open it up, since you want to lock it down. And it takes knight d4 for the score. Knight e6 in the mix. Queen g4 for the score. Hitting. Knight g5 get live. Rook e7, then we send them to heaven. And it's a wrap. Check, 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 check. Mate, gross, insane, disgusting. Hopefully, you can do this in your own games. Hopefully, you learn something today. It says, instead of king h8, could black have more force to draw with king g8 to f8? Um, are you talking about back here? So you mean after after rook g7 check again? You mean king f8. So if king f8, that's a great question, actually. Excellent question. Chat, what works here? It's a good move. Russian fatal fatal blow. A good uh good way to try to force a draw. White to move. What do you do? What do you do? No, oh, that's a nice Gary cast for Avi. Very nice. That's actually a very nice way to try to draw here. It's not a draw. No, not there. Well, what do you mean? Where is the draw then? Because this is where you said, right? King G8. So, okay. Could he, instead of King H8, could he have enforced a draw with King G8 to F8? Right. So, this is where it happened right here. Okay. So, we play right here. Rook E7. So, you said King G8. Check. And then you say King F8. Okay, so King F8, same kind of thing, same move, same stuff. Black to move, or white to move. Sorry, what do you do, chat? What do you do about it? Knight h7, knight e6, knight h7. 
That is correct. It is the Knight H7 idea. Knight H7 ends it all. Knight H7. No matter what you do, if you take the rook, I take with check. If you play King E8, then it's mate. Uh, this is the this is a nice try, but it doesn't work. Knight H7. King takes, I take with check. There is no mate because you have to respond to the check. And then if King E8, well, that's not great. You know, hitting hitting with the mate, you know, game over, start a new one. So that works too as well. That's why he couldn't go back for the draw. So he went King H8 route. Then checked him into oblivion and worked him and beautiful mate as we know it today. All the way back from 1895. Why didn't he take the rook on G7 with his queen? A great question. Great question. Right here, this, would, this actually would have went into this line. So after rook G7 initially happened, after queen takes, which is probably the best bet to go, but after rook takes, rook takes, queen takes, you down a full piece here. And I mean, this is just not playable. Like you're down a full piece, you know, you can, I mean, yes, you can play it out, especially if you like under, you know, a certain rate, right? Then of course, maybe play this out, but this is just completely losing for black being down a full piece against Steinitz too. Think about that. So I could even take the queen. But I could also play queen e6, try to keep him on a little bit longer. If king to g7, we play queen d7, right? And let's see this line. King h6, knight f7, king here is made on h3. Gross. Disgusting. I mean, it was made everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all kind of stuff you could play. All kind of stuff you could play here. You said even queen e6 check first? Uh, you actually could do that. It's not much of a difference. Not much of a difference. But queen e6 is cool. King f8 maybe. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing, but... Pretty good chance. I hope y'all learned something today about the smooth criminal and what you can do with or without it back there. So pretty good, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's analysis. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, we got more videos coming, and I'll see you guys on the next video.